everybody, it's Julie, and today I thought I would do a laundry chat since I need to fold laundry. <laughs> um, I usually do it at night, but last night I had like several things that I needed to do. So, yeah, so I'm going to do it while I talk to you. And I'm also going to try to complete the mom confessions tag, which is kind of funny because I'm like, yeah, I was going to do this last night and I didn't, so there's a confession. Um, another one is that I tried to film this before and uh, my youngest wasn't napping at the time. And I was like, oh, I can do this. You know, and no, I can't. He has to be napping for me to do anything this involved. So, yeah, that, that's another one. <laughs> Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of just, you're just living every day trying to do the best that you can and um, I think something I, I've been thinking about a lot lately is just forgiving yourself. You know, just letting it go and moving on and not dwelling on your, you know, your imperfections. No, none of us are perfect and we're just doing the best that we can. With God's grace, um, we won't completely ruin our kids, right? <laughs> I... Wrote down a few things. I don't know how many I have here, but I thought I would just kind of share some thoughts that I had when I was thinking about this tag like a while ago. It's, it was a while ago that I was planning to do this. There's so many videos that I want to do, um, and I just don't have a lot of time. And I'm just going to have to be okay with that because we got a lot going on over here. Um, being a mama, and my number one priority is to make sure that my kids are safe and fed and clothed and educated. and. Um, you know, whatever. I, I really enjoy this as a hobby, um, and I love talking to you guys. It's so fun, and I think it's really good for all of us to have somebody to connect to, and um, and that sort of thing. I mean, aside from people you meet in real life, it's still fun to have people that you know you, you're learning about people all over the place, not just where you are. Um, so one of my things is that I love Legos. When my son gets Legos, I know this isn't gonna last forever. He's eight now. But usually he'll ask me to put them together according to the directions um, for the first time and then after that the directions get lost or rift or the dogs eat them or whatever and he just builds whatever he wants. But usually the first time um, I either help him or I wind up doing it for him, which might be a lesson in persistence that he's missing out on. But I love doing that. I love building Legos. I think it's like therapy. It's like, I don't know. I, I love doing that. So. Um, number whatever is that I raised my kids to laugh at my jokes. I always think I'm funny, but I don't know that everybody else thinks I'm funny. But my kids, I'm raising them to get my humor and to laugh at it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, I love that I have inside jokes with my kids already. Like from specific movies that we've seen, we quote them and just laugh or whatever. And, um, I love that. I love laughing with my kids. I don't know if that's a confession. But... I love that they think I'm funny. And let's see. Um, I guess one of the things that is kind of a confession is that sometimes I I care too much about other people's opinions and you know, I mean there's a lot of times that I'm just like, oh I don't care, I'm gonna do whatever I want. But there's sometimes that, you know, what people say or what people think about me and my choices or something, sometimes it kind of gets to me. And it really shouldn't. Like, I should just be able to do what I feel called to do and not worry about what other people think. Um, because I love what I'm doing and I feel really blessed to be able to be with my kids and to educate them the way that I want. And so, yeah. I, um, yeah. I, I think I, I think for the most part I'm okay with just doing whatever I want, not worrying about other people's opinions. But sometimes it gets me and, you know, whatever. Sometimes. I just have to look away. When my kids are playing, I can tend to be like that overly, ah, oh, oh, be careful, uh, be careful, <laughs> helicopter mom. Um, and so sometimes I just have to just not look and just be like, you know what, have fun. You're, you know, you're not really likely to hurt yourself doing that. So, you know, I, I just have to look away. Sometimes I get overwhelmed by neediness and clinginess and it's funny because I know that's like gonna be the first thing I'm gonna miss when my kids are all older and stuff that they that they don't need me all the time they don't want to like you know snuggle with me with their arms around my neck and stuff but sometimes I really get overwhelmed with um trying to do something and somebody wants snuggles and just to sit down and do nothing and and I think it's so funny because those are the most precious times and those are the times that I'm gonna remember and treasure but sometimes in that moment, you're just like, okay, let's go do something now. <laughs> and 
and move on and but they're like the, the sweetest times so I don't know it's a catch-22 I guess you're you want it but then too much you get like overwhelmed so anyway sometimes I have a hard time I guess this goes along with it just balancing the to-do list versus just letting it all go and having fun for a little while and like enjoying the moment and being okay with the mess for a while and then you know cleaning it up later but I do like sometimes I'm sure I'm not the only one that just is like okay at what point am I like okay we're done here <laughs> clean up time or for how long you know how long do I just let it go and just kind of fun with it did I mention I got my hair cut I got my hair cut huh I'm still trying to figure out how I want to style it it's a little shorter than I meant to go but anyways I feel more like me now oh and I guess that's that's I love like going somewhere by myself sometimes and I I hadn't gotten my hair cut for like two years I've been doing it myself which I made a video for it's a very bad video not professional at all not that this one is either but <laughs> um, but it was a while back and so I've been just kind of trimming my own hair as necessary for the past couple years because when my youngest was really just like clingy and you know he's used to having me all the time so when I go places it's totally foreign to him so I just kind of didn't go for two years to get my hair cut like professionally and that's fine you know it is what it is but I went um, two days ago because yesterday was my birthday and I got my hair cut and it was amazing sometimes just going somewhere by yourself is just nice and I'm sure when I'm going places by myself all the time when my kids are all grown and gone I'm gonna be like man it's funny though because if I go too long without them then I start talking to myself and I'm like darn there's nobody to laugh with or talk with when I'm like walking down the grocery store aisle and I'm like huh that's funny but there's nobody to tell um because I like never go to the grocery store by myself just maybe a couple of times I have in the recent months um but yeah it's just funny how you there's things that overwhelm you but you know that someday you're gonna miss them I can't stand kids shows and kids songs and like all the bippity bop hip hop rock stuff for kids I just can't it's funny because like I'm a mom of all these kids and I don't really know all the popular stuff because um, I just don't I don't know I just don't like the little teeny voices and stuff I'd rather I, I like watching like Veggie Tales or what's in the Bible or something where it's like for kids but it's also got some big words in there too and the jokes are actually funny to me and they don't really talk down to you kind of thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's I, I don't really watch like little kids shows with my little kids because I just can't. And we just listen to like WFM or whatever, Caleb or something on the radio when we go places. I don't listen to kids stuff. So probably not the funnest mom ever, but um, they don't know any different, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, that's something I never really made that concession with them. Like, we just don't listen to kids' music. It's funny. Well, I think that's all that I really wrote down. I don't know. I, I feel like I could come up with a trillion things, but I don't want this to become like a really, I'm a horrible person fest. <laughs> um, I did want to just mention that I feel like as moms, we can wind up, um, like, I love Instagram, and I have several in Instagrams, because I'm always, like, trying to learn new things and I love sharing that kind of stuff with everybody so I have a beautiful childhood is all like the kids their homeschool related stuff a beautiful home life is me trying to learn how to decorate my house because I'm not really that great at it and also kind of trying to learn about um what do you call it like capsule wardrobes and something I'm trying to figure out what to wear I don't know and then I have a beautiful horizon which is food because I love food and I don't know I just have fun with that but I'm not an expert in anything. I'm just, you know, kind of having fun and learning and sharing and like the process of learning about things. But I think we can get in this like mindset of comparing ourselves with moms that are sharing their gift. Like if they're super good at something. I'm not really super good at any of those different things. But, um, but there's some accounts like for decor and the houses are just incredible. And you're like, whoa, that's amazing. But I think that moms have different strengths and weaknesses and we have to be careful not to compare our weak areas to somebody else's strong areas and feel like we have to be strong in every area we can just kind of you know dabble here or there and then if we find something then great go for it but i'm just you know note to self like just enjoy life and and try different things but 
it can it can go like this real fast if we start comparing our you know beginning of our journey with somebody else's like middle towards you know perfection <laughs> journey <laughs> So anyways, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed doing laundry with me and um, chatting about confessions and just what's on my heart. So anyways, leave me a comment and let me know what you're up to and what your mommy confessions are. Um, I don't know. I don't really like thinking about negative stuff so much, so it's, it's hard for me to like come up with stuff without sounding like, oh, I'm horrible here and I'm horrible there, but we're all working on ourselves and our homes and our menu plans and our whatever and it's all a process so let's just be patient with ourselves and be okay with the fact that this is all there is <laughs> right here <laughs> it's just a learning process anyways I love you guys I don't know if this is uh, you know really helpful but it was fun so I will see you in my next video subscribe if you haven't yet if you want to hear more of me talking usually there's more of something going on besides me just talking, but I will see you in my next video. Bye.